Hello, my name is Michelle Greenwell, and I am the owner of the Cape Breton Tea Company and the Tea with Intention series. I am so excited to share with you what a tea artist is. In the upcoming events that are happening around Cape Breton Island, you will see me presenting tea in a way it's not been seen before. A tea artist is someone who shares the rituals and power of tea to help you bring you into a centered focus for the day and to bring you into a place of being present, being aware of your senses and enjoying tea in a way beyond getting that cup that just gets you through the morning. So what do I mean by that? So let's look at what I made for myself this morning. This is a new blend that is just being finished. It's Kisses and Dreams and it's purple. How exciting is that? It is so much fun to play with the different herbs and bring them together in a collective way to be able to celebrate. I also have different tea blends that have been made for special occasions. So this is the Merry Moments tea. This is in honor of Mary Janet McDonald, who is the incredible inspiration behind Tunes and Wooden Spoons, which has been a Facebook favorite for people all the way through the pandemic. But Mary Janet is known for her step dancing and the way that she inspires other people to live their dreams and to, to find that recognition and that incentive within themselves. And so this tea is in honor of that. What we wanted to do when we created the blend was bring black tea, which is her favorite, together with apple pieces, cinnamon, we have blackberry leaves, safflower petals, and some other natural flavors. When we brought this together, it was the idea of being able to create like an apple pie or cinnamon buns, that baking that Mary Janet does on her show. And this is a way just to honor that. So when you go to sip the tea, it's really fun to know that you're a part of some traditions on Cape Breton Island, but also a part of what makes Cape Breton Island so powerful and incredible to be a part of. So now let's look at the Tea with Intention series. This series was created with uh, my business partner at the time, Natasha Polomsky. The two of us work in a bioenergetic wellness field. Both of us are about finding proactive ways for people to engage with their self care and their wellness. So the teas were put together based on the five elements from Chinese medicine, but we were using Western herbs and we put them together based on the elements. So we have fire, earth, metal, water, and wood. What I picked for you today is one of our favorites and it's one that goes off the shelf pretty fast and that's apple passion. Now that's very similar to what we did with Mary Janet's, but hers is a black tea. This one is actually made with rooibos and rooibos doesn't have caffeine in it, but it has a lovely high antioxidant level. So it has a different quality that can bring to the table. This one includes the red bush rooibos, cinnamon and cloves, that's similar, but orange, rose hip, hibiscus, and vanilla. Doesn't that sound lovely? So as a tea artist, I like to bring forward how you can use tea, the way that you drink it, the way that you prepare it. And that's a tradition that goes back for thousands of years in, the, in both indigenous um, society ceremonies and also what comes from China and the way that tea came from China and also what came through Europe because Europe prior to the black tea coming from China were actually they were using fireweed and they had their own rituals too and when you go to the garden and you pull out the herbs you want to put into some hot water you have your own rituals and as a tea artist I can bring that forward I also bring it forward in how can you prepare your tea I have a switchel recipe I have ideas for baking popsicles, ice cubes, ways that you can put it in soups, gravy, uh, meat rubs. There are so many ways that you can use tea and the power of tea. Now, the thing that happens with the teas with intention is we also have affirmations that go with them. So you'll notice on the front of all of our packages that we have some kind of a phrase. So for Apple Passion, it says, the heart of this blend is its focus on the passion for life, clear insight, and the center of wisdom. Doesn't that just make you want to just make that cup of tea and go, I want some of that, and then sip it.
All right, and on the back of the Tea with Intention series, we have affirmations that have made specifically for the fire element and for your goal setting. We have a ritual of how to hold the herbs before you start and how to bring the tea in and sip it. So now that I've shared all of that with you, tea isn't just about the ingredients. Tea is about how you use tea, what you do with it, how you bring it into your life, how you make it present and a part of what you're doing. So if you're thinking about what does a tea artist do, know that there's more that can happen with tea and that I'll be traveling around Cape Breton Island as well as offering workshops online to help people realize and understand the power of tea. So as we say in Cape Breton, slanch. Mm. That, that is beautiful. Have a wonderful day.